What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a very interesting response that James Gunn gave when asked about the Arkhamverse and the continuation. Now, I actually believe he took the tweet down, so that's an extra kind of layer to it. But we'll go over exactly what he says, and I think a little bit of divisiveness on the, you know, I think the first kind of wave was a lot of positivity. I've seen kind of back and forth of, you know, please let this thing die. Uh, don't make it a Suicide Squad 2. You know, a lot of back and forth. The, the first kind of wave was more, thank God, like, yes, we're getting more of it. Uh, but we'll discuss all that as we go. So let's read what was asked, and then let's read James Gunn's answer. So the question was, hey, James, is the Suicide Squad kill the Justice League will be the final game for the Arkhamverse? And then James Gunn says, no plans of it being the last. And again, he takes the thing down. That's all we have of it. Um, you can read into it, I guess, as much or as little as you want. But here's the thing, right? And you could ask, well, what does James Gunn have to do with it? And that would be like a, a pretty solid uh, you know, response or you know, thing to say. But the thing you got to remember with all of these games is, is the pitch kind of idea, right? So Rocksteady, I would hope has some sort of like ability to do what they want. And I hope a lot of gaming industry developers have have the ability to do whatever they want. But the sad truth of it is oftentimes they don't. Oftentimes you got to make the pitch, you got to sell whatever the parent company would be, right? So in this case WB and you have to sell them, "Hey, we're going to do like X game and you know, can you sign off on it?" Because ultimately, you know, they're going to get the budget, they're going to get the money not from themselves, okay? And you know, it obviously differs here and there, but I just you know wanted to say that because I did see some responses saying, well, like, what does James Gunn have to do with it? Well, because of his position, I'm not saying he's going to, like, definitively tell Roxy, like, hey, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. But how I read it and how I at least see the position of James Gunn, any idea or any conversations of what they're doing next probably runs through him. Whether or not he's the be all end all, if he's a dictator, if he, you know, if he again, he demands things or he just kind of like hears things out, right? No matter what kind of leader he is, his position at the company to me tells me that he would at least hear it. So his answer of saying, you know, no plans for it being the last one, that tells me that Rocksteady has had discussions, whether they've been told to do something or they've decided on their own, they are going to continue this into the future. And James Gunn, being in the position he's in, maybe he okays the thing, maybe he doesn't okay it, but he still needs to hear the ideas, right, pitched out loud, he would have heard it. So I, I mean, I read very much into this that, okay, this is happening. You're going to get more Arkhamverse games. Now, is that the right move? Okay, the way I see it, this is our path to the Justice League slash any Justice League member game. That's how I see it. I did see people saying, like, you know, would you do Suicide Squad 2? I don't think you do. Now, another thing is I wouldn't really prefer a Justice League game slash, you know, uh, a Justice League member kind of game being more of a live service game. I look at this as this is our in to continue the Arkhamverse in some way. And by the way, the Arkhamverse doesn't have to be, at least this is how I'm reading into it, the Arkhamverse does not have to be Batman. I've long said, like, you are in a pretty tough pickle because of the Kevin Conroy situation. Like, you, you just are. There's no way around it. If you're going to do more Batman games and they're in the Arkhamverse, you got to make a call. And, you know, no answer is necessarily the right or wrong one, right? Do you recast? Do you just bring Roger back and do some sort of Arkham Origins too? I think that one makes the most sense versus doing more Batman in the future. Granted, we also don't know what happens to Batman. At least I don't. And maybe the leaks said it. I haven't looked at the leaks as I've told you. I don't know what happens here. Maybe Batman survives, doesn't survive. Suicide Squad, kill a Justice League. Okay? That would obviously make an impact on, you know, if he's going to return in future games. But when I hear, truthfully, when I hear Arkhamverse, well, yes, like, it was all started with Arkham Asylum. But because of where we've gone with this, and I think even, like, Gotham Knights, right, when Gotham Knights comes out... When, when I say Arkhamverse, when other people say it, I just think it's in the universe of that. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be Batman. So when he said, you know, no plans of it, you know, this being the last one, I don't look at it as, oh, we're going to get an Arkham 5, if you count Origins, you know, as being an, a numbered title and you line them all up. I don't think that's what this means. I think this is a path to whatever happens with any of the Justice League members, 
This is either a path to a Justice League game. This is a path to, I don't want to say Superman because I really think Superman's being made by somebody else. I really do believe that. So how I look at it is you're going to get another Arkhamverse game. It's either, you know, you could do like an Origins 2. You can do something, maybe, you can't really do Wonder Woman because you already have that going on. So like Green Lantern, Flash, Superman maybe, but it's just being made by somebody. I mean, I guess that would work, right? If you're making a Superman game, if you just put that into the Arkhamverse, it doesn't even have to be Roxanne that's making it. It could still work. So it could mean that. could mean a Justice League game just in general. And and honestly, I mean, I, I look at that as kind of a strength. The Arkhamverse is strong. It's loved. People still love it. People care about it, like, deeply. And I think it's why they don't want, you know, Suicide Squad to ruin it in any way, right? Because we've, you know, even though Arkham Knight was so divisive and still is, Arkham Knight is looked at in all sorts of ways. But there's just such strong memories with the Arkhamverse in general, and we don't want it, you know, to be destroyed. And now, again, there are some people that just want it to end, and I totally get that. I actually, and I think I said this back in the day, I don't see any uh, problem. I don't see anything wrong with doing, like, what they did with Gotham Knights in the sense of making it its own thing weirdly enough Gotham Knights sets itself up to literally be in the Arkhamverse and they just choose not to right like literally with the opening of Gotham Knights and how they're leaving our, you know how they're leaving just the city of Gotham and leaving you know these protectors you would think if you told just a, a random Joe that this was like the sequel to Arkham Knight I think you'd get them I think you'd fool them because it's like it, it's very clearly almost made to be it but they didn't want it Again, like, I don't... Maybe it's because of Suicide Squad, Killer Justice League. I don't know. But bottom line is, I actually never really had a problem with doing its own thing. I think you can make DC games that are not in that thing. And, you know, the Wonder Woman game, I would not... In fact, I believe that's not in the Arkhamverse, and I think that's the right call, too. I don't really care. But I do, like, respect the idea that you can continue this. And I'm also, again, trying to look at it as you don't... Just because you say it out loud, Arkhamverse doesn't have to mean Batman. I think this is a path to something else uh, again a justice league member having its own standalone game which several of them might already or doing just a justice league game in general again controversial thought just to make the few people you know mad i definitely wouldn't want it to continue the structure i think if you're going to keep going with the arkhamverse again it's not defined as one specific thing specifically anymore because you have this, right? And then you have the Arkham games. So obviously it doesn't have to be what the Arkham games were. But I'd much prefer more of that genre than this genre. That's my hot take. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. And I hope to see you all on the next one.